Hello and welcome to another tutorial video by The Project Bag. My name is Gemma and I am going to help you today with picking up dropped stitches. When you're a beginner, the tendency can be to hold the yarn quite tight. That means that it can be hard to slip them off the needles and inevitably more than one comes with you. So what do you do when that happens? You do not have to pull all your knitting back and start all over again. I'm going to show you some nifty tricks to help you catch those stitches that have dropped and carry on with your knitting problem free. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm in the middle of a row. One of the most common mistakes a beginner makes is they're holding their yarn too tight. So this is the sort of error that you will see. They'll knit that stitch and then in their haste to pull it off, they accidentally pull off the next stitch from the needle. <gasps> oh no, I've dropped my stitch. What do I do? The first thing is don't panic. If you look at this, you can see if it wants to focus, it doesn't want to focus at the moment. There we are. You can see the loop just poking through. What you want to try and do is push your needle through the loop at the earliest opportunity. As it happens, that's that stitch rescued. So what do you do if you drop a stitch and then you don't get it back and it goes down and down? What do you do then? First thing, don't pull your knitting back. There's absolutely no need for it. This is much like the ladder in a pair of tights. Do you see? We've got three rungs here where I've dropped my stitch. The very first thing you need to do is catch that drop stitch. So pop your needle through that loop and catch it. Then you've got some stitches left to rescue. If I turn this round, you will see three rungs, sorry, knocking the tripod of the ladder. Here we are, one, two, and there's the third one there. You can see that they are not attached to this middle stitch at all. They're attached on this side and on this side. So at this point, nothing terrible is going to happen. You've got your stitch rescued here and we just need to work these through. So we're working in stocking at, and we are about to work a knit stitch. This is meant to be a knit stitch. So what we're going to do is have the work facing us and we're going to work with the bottom most rung first. So the bottom most rung first, sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. There's too much movement, I think, for it. Pop it onto your needle and you've got the loose drop stitch here. We're going to move that stitch over and off. So we've moved it over the rung of the needle we've picked up and slipped it down. And as you can see, that now is just hanging out down here. Okay, that stitch that was dropped there has now wrapped itself around beautifully and that's absolutely fine and secure. So we're going to do the same with the next two rungs of the ladder. Here's the next one, pick it up and slip the rescued stitch over it and off the needle. Next one, pick it up, slip the rescued stitch over and off the needle. Perfect. I'll be back in a second to show you what happens when we drop a stitch purlwise. Okay, so as you can see here, I have come to the end of my knit row and I've started a purl row. At the moment I haven't dropped a stitch, but I'm going to drop it on purpose for you now and show you what to do. Here we are. So let's just slip that off the needle. Oh, I've slipped off too. Let's put that one back on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Encourage it down a few rungs. There we are. It's fallen down three rungs. The first thing I need to do is rescue that. Here we are. Great. Now, if we're going purlwise, we need to do something ever so slightly different. We're still working with the bottom rung first, but if we were to slip that over like so, as we did for the knit side, then what we create is a knit stitch. We don't want that. Let's slip that off again. Rescue it again. What we need to do this time is we need to actually bring this ladder to the front of the work. So I'm going to pop that onto my needle as we would normally, but I'm then going to encourage it over that stitch. 
All right, so that is now sitting across our rescued stitch. Then I'm going to reach through, grab that extra ladder and pull it through that way. Okay, we're going to do it again with the next ladder down. Did I use the right ladder? Yeah. Okay, so then you grab the next ladder down, the next rung I should say. Easier if I do it like that. So you've got your stitch that you're rescuing on your left hand needle. Then you pick up the other rung, encourage it over that stitch you've rescued, reach through and pull it back through that stitch and off. Okay, so we're going to reach through, pull it back through that stitch and off. And there it is. If that's too complicated, what you can also do is turn the work around. <laughs> okay, turn the work around. Make sure you've got the spay on the ladder to the back of your work, which is a little bit easier like this. Put the rescued stitch onto that needle. Put the spay yarn onto that needle. Slip it off just as you would if you were rescuing a knit stitch because what happens is on the back you've created a pearl. Okay, I really hope that that's been of use to you and that if you drop stitches you won't panic immediately and you can hopefully rescue them for yourself. It's been really lovely to chat with you. Have fun with your knitting. Take care. Bye. Bye.